So what I'll describe now is if you want to build reports, if you want to build reports to show data from an SQL Server database, Data Warehouse, Cube, whatever, you have two options. Option one is Visual Studio. Option two is what's called a report builder. So I'm going to start with option one, Visual Studio. Now the type of Visual Studio that you use to build reports in SQL Server is a cut down version of the, your standard Visual Studio and this cut down version comes with SQL Server comes with your SQL Server license so this is your interface here here's your reports Now you can also use this same cut down version to build cubes to build data models to build integration services to move data around but for this demo we're just going to talk about report building so let's, I'll just actually show you how I built the report earlier dashboard report this is actually the design of it and as you can see it's a graph chart links and three embedded reports here's the embedded sales report we look at the data set you can see TSQL and then you can drag your fields in and sum them and so on and create your drill downs once you've done that then deploy to report server option two as I mentioned using the report builder we'll go back to our reporting services portal so this is option two using the report builder to design reports we'll just click report builder here it downloads the application from the reporting server so you don't actually have to install anything on your desktop And this is the report builder. It's been downloaded and run on your desktop. It uses the office ribbon. And we're just going to use the wizard to create a report. So we'll just select chart wizard. We'll go to create data set. We'll select a demo data model. And what a data model does is it creates an additional layer of logic between a database and a report or a data warehouse and a report or between a cube and a report an additional layer of logic so that a user does not have to write any code all they have to do is drag and drop fields in that means you don't have to write MDX you don't have to write TSQL you don't have to write any kind of code once the data model is put in place you just can drag and drop your fields so this is the make table we're going to take make description we're going to look in invoice table we're going to take com number and we're going to take let's see one more field what will we take invoice date and we're going to take year check that data gets returned and it does the type of graph we're going to do with this instance is a line graph drag and drop your fields into where you want them to be on the report I'll change this from sum to count because I want the number of transactions. We'll take the generic graph voila report built and we'll say car sales and we'll save that now to our report server reports and this is going to be called demo report one 101 we'll click save we we'll just run it and that's it what you can see straight away is there's a big jump in sales for the Brandon consulting car sales company and it was mainly Ford was the highest jump that was within the interface now if I refresh the actual reporting services portal we see a new report in here, Demo Report 101. Click here, and it's ready to go. So now, depending on permissions, anyone can access it. Like with any report, you can export it to whatever format you want. This can also be scheduled and delivered by email. Oh, incidentally, yeah, you can subscribe to a report. So you just click here and say when you want to receive the report and how often. So, as I said, this 
demonstrates how to build reports using SQL Server 2008 R2. You have two options. You have your Visual Studio option or you've got the Report Builder option. And then you just deploy them onto the Report Server. That's it.